Uh, it's a documentary. It's available on Sky TV. You can download it there. It's called I Love You, Now I Die. What's it looking at? Well, it's looking at the case of an American teenager who used text messages to convince her boyfriend, Conrad Roy, to take his own life. Conrad's mother, Lynn Roy, joins us now live from Massachusetts. Um, Mrs Roy, uh, our condolences, our heart goes out to you. This must be such a tough watch for you. Um, five years ago since Conrad passed away, do you really think that Michelle Carter was to blame? At that uh, time, absolutely. Um, she coerced him, manipulated him, sent him hundreds of messages over the last month before he passed um, and bullied him into taking his own life. But he was also uh, taking drugs. I mean, if you watch the document in the fascination, he was taking medical drugs, right, for, for conditions. Mm -hmm. So was she. Um, they were both yes. under the influence of, of psychotic drugs, were they not? Uh, they both were on medication for depression. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you wouldn't forgive her that she became a different person because of this? Uh, well... Uh, my son was on antidepressants also. Uh, but you know right from wrong when you're on uh, medication. What you didn't know, Lynn, is after uh, Conrad died, uh, Michelle Carter and you, naturally enough, consoled each other. You spoke to each other. She was... Yes, I... You became close to her. Mm-hmm. I did tell her that uh, I appreciate her so much for being there for him and that she was such a positive person in his life. I didn't know um, that it was the opposite. What was it? This was a relationship, you know, 80%, 90% of this relationship conducted by social messaging uh, on text, mm -hmm. which actually led to, to her conviction. And um, what was it in the relationship between you and her when you suddenly thought, hold on a minute? Um, it was a month after he passed, and, you know, she would tell me how much he loved me, that I shouldn't feel guilty about anything. I did everything I could as a mother. He always spoke very highly of me. Um, which I, I knew already, I know, uh, my relationship with him. She said, I tried to save him, you tried to save him, and then I just thought that was a red flag. And I contacted uh, the detective, and I just said that I think she knows that, you know, about the time he passed or the events around the time of his passing. And this is when those detectives uh, looked at her phone and they found hundreds and hundreds of messages. What was the first you were told yeah. about those messages and what they contained? I didn't... Uh, I knew a little bit. I uh, found out 2015 in February. Uh, I just thought I was, you know, sitting in a Lifetime movie. I didn't think that someone could be that horrible. Um, but that later on that summer in August 2015, I read a little bit of the messages between them. I still, to this day, haven't read everything. It's too painful for me. But I did read some, and it was uh, I just... I don't know how someone can be mm -hmm. that... I don't know, that Manip way, that, manip that manipulative, feeling that way. Manipulative. Uh, it's interesting, yeah. I mean, you say you yeah. haven't read the messages, and my goodness me, how are you going to? 60,000 text messages is what, is what we yeah. were talking about there. This woman, it was quite I obvious... Mean, I... Sorry? No, I mean, I've, I've read uh, more and more, you know, as time passes, but I can only take in so much. Uh, I still... I still haven't saw his... Um, at his wake, his slideshow at his wake. So there are things that I've had to only um, come to, you know, grips with at a time.
It must be uh, so difficult for you because it's quite obvious that this woman was a fantasist, is a fantasist, because if, if you watch the documentary, we also see her fascination with a TV programme which many people in Britain will be familiar with called Glee. And um, it, it's a show where the mm -hmm. lead actor, Corey Monteith, in the show he dies, he dies. He also dies of an overdose in, in uh, real life. And then in her texts to your son, she would write using words from the show as if they were her very own words. Correct. It, uh, he also uh, passed away a year to the day of my son. And we believe that's why she was pushing him so much that weekend to die that day. Corey died July 13th, 2013, and Conrad died July 13th, 2014. This has divided opinion, the, the documentary. In the first one, it shows the prosecution, and the second documentary shows um, Michelle Carter's defence. And the defence was that mm -hmm. this was a young woman who was suffering quite severe mental health problems herself, an eating disorder. Is there any part of mm -hmm. you that has sympathy for her because there were you know the people the div division of opinion was people saying she did this because she had mental health issues herself and she and conrad is probably why they bonded because they talked about that together a lot of course i have a huge heart um and all i want to do is forgive in the future i want to move forward uh just you know for myself and and for you know for my mental health uh but yes, I, I have sympathy for her parents. Um, you know, no matter what, you love your ch child. Um, no matter what happens, you always have love for your child. And she is now serving um, 15 months in prison. She had a two and a half year term, 15 months to be served in prison and five years on probation. In your opinion, was that a fair punishment? Um, you know what? I, I didn't think it was going to, she was even going to spend a day in jail. Um, so I am uh, pleased that they, the prosecutors, the state of Massachusetts, uh, realized my son's uh, worth. Um, his life mattered. Okay. And that's, that's the, you know, that's the big, uh, that was the biggest thing for me is that his life matters and there's so many other young men like him in the world and I'm uh, trying to push for a law in Massachusetts in his name. Lynn Roy, uh, we know how painful that was to talk about. We thank you mm -hmm. very much indeed for shedding life on the, on the whole situation. Our condolences to you for the loss of your son. I love you now, die. Thank you. Available now on Sky.